And that was Peter Gibbs. You're listening to the BBC World Service. Still to come on the newsroom. We find out why Saudi Arabia, one of the world's largest oil producers, has raised the price of petrol. First, though, David has the The American comedian Bill Cosby, who was once the world's highest paid entertainer, has been charged for the first time with drugging and indecently assaulting a woman. The Swiss authorities have frozen $80 million in bank accounts linked to the Peter corruption scandal. Dr. Saki. Today, in this video, I will show you two of my radio restoration projects. The first one is a world receiver which I had bought 24 years back, and this one contains the famous Sony IC CXA. 1191s because of this IC and its incredible sensitivity I decided to restore it its chassis its chassis became very old and soiled and the second one is a wooden cabinet there's a teak wood cabinet old Philip tube radio and I completely changed the board of that radio with a transistor board and for this one the Sony IC radio world receiver it has very beautiful circuit an amazing circuit with mixer and intermediate frequency IF full set of IF tr transformers tune transformers and at that time the crystal oscillator was not that much famous so you can see here ceramic resonators instead of crystal oscillators and this one is my favorite ever favorite radio it has antenna coils very beautiful set of Litz wire, antenna coil short wire for short wire listening, and all stale big double ganged variable capacitor, and a lot of other type of ceramic capacitors. The main problem was this radio, most of the circuit became aged and the volume, the amplifier section became very poor in audio quality so I decided to make a board separately for this world receiver, my old favorite world receiver, this is the board which contains the IC LM386 and I gave and I soldered a lot of ports it has a gain control, volume control, tone control and I assembled all these components on a perforated board. Here you can see that behind the board a lot of soldering and copper ports you can see here. Here I have used two power supplies with I have used voltage divider to divide the voltage for the wall receiver radio and for the amplifier circuit.
to maintain good quality, I have used the tantal and capacitors. You can see it here. These are the tantal and capacitors. And the IC used is LM386 mono amplifier IC. I have used a lot of 2 pin and 3 pin terminals to connect, to conveniently connect the wires. So you can experiment, you can use this board for multiple purpose amplifiers. So each time you can easily disconnect the wires if you use these kinds of ports. These are the other components which I will connect to the volts to store volt receiver radio. This is a fused 4 ampere switch with a 500 milliampere fuse inside, fast blowing fuse inside and this will goes to the gain control and this volume control and tone control this 5 watt 8 ohms speaker will become the output device of the LM386 mono amplifier IC board and I will connect this speaker in series with the output 1000 M of capacitor and this is the uh, battery pack it contains a 4 volt individual lead acid sealed lead acid batteries a single cell is 4 ampere sorry 4 volt 1.5 ampere hour rechargeable lead acid battery and three of them make a 12.6 volt battery pack which will power both the amplifier and the radio the world receiver radio to avoid expensive chassis I decided to use this plastic box as the chassis for my world receiver radio moreover it is very easy to make holes for the knobs on this plastic box contouring the chassis with my Dremel This is the completed restored world receiver radio. All of the components I assembled inside a plastic box. Different type of controls. This is the volume control. This is tone control, gain control, the toggle switch. This is the fuse this uh, tuning indicator tuning signal strength indicator this is a uh, I have converted this radio into solar and rechargeable radio for convenience behind you can see this uh, charging port
and this is the speaker external I can convert it to into external speaker system here is the sliding switch this is a band selector switch I have just extended it for the convenience and here is the antenna connection externally can I can queue external antenna connection you can see the battery pack inside the coil everything is transparent let us turn it on let us listen to the international broadcast stations you can see the tuning strength the signal strength indicator here if they try to enter the country and as we've just been hearing NASA is warning that the weather phenomenon El Nino could be as bad this year as the strongest on record they're talking about the BBC NASA and the El Nino phenomenon Let us see the inside of this radio. side of this radio Here is the battery pack so amplifier the cycle board speaker and the toggle the slider switch for the external speaker connection the coils and the condenser you can see through the body to the chassis so battery pack it's working perfectly To get the full efficiency of the 
popular amplifier IC LM 386 which I have used inside this radio to amplify my old restore radio actually in this box in the speaker inside this radio the sound is little bit teeny but today I made this box from six piece of scrap on reply wood and I placed a 5 watt speaker only 5 watt see the difference now it work like a boom box unimaginable I never thought the LM386 IC is so much that much powerful see the difference the radio work with the honorary random wire whip antenna you can see behind this radio I have included a sliding switch for the external speaker now I will change it to the inside speaker watch the difference actually I have included a gain control and a top bus control tone control with this LM386 circuit board but the full efficiency I got the full efficiency with the use of a simple very simple speaker box see the difference now it change to the external speaker LM386 IC is very powerful but simple very low voltage it consumes very low voltage da noite de ano novo o inverno também está perto da nossa vida sobretudo para aqueles no hemisfério norte neste momento para oferecer uma canção This one is my second radio restoration project This radio is very old one but it has a very beautiful teakwood body chassis which attracted me so I decided to restore it completely and I converted it into a inverter radio it can operate the absence of main power supply because it contains a 6 volt 4 ampere hour battery inside it can tune almost all world band radio stations even remote stations with the help of a simple random wire VIP antenna This is another type of amplifier, hi fi amplifier for my world receiver radios. The circuit board contains the popular TTA 2822 audio amplifier IC, stereo IC. The circuit board is very simple, but in my experience, LM386 
is the best IC which can be used for hi-fi amplifier for radios Продолжение следует...